Hello everybody, this is Mr. Uberduck and today I'm back with another redstone video and I know I'm doing a lot of redstone and not much let's play action at the moment. That's just because I'm back at school, I'm still getting back into the swing of things. The video content has slowed down a bit and I do realise that, but it should soon be back to normal. But the first thing I'm going to show to you today is this double piston extender. It is expandable and this is what it looks like. So there's the extension and there's the retraction. Now before you click off this video because you see a torch burn out let me just say I have a better design coming later in the video I just wanted to showcase the smallest I could make and this thing is tiny. If you don't include the layout this actually only uses two redstone dust and one stick that's all you need to make this thing. Then you need the layout with the dust and the pistons but that's all. Now it's not the best design in the world because it it burns out, uses a torch burnout, and if you then go and update the torch, it won't retract properly. But still, I just wanted to showcase how small these things could be. So this thing comes in at eight blocks. Technically, that is anyway. If you want to include this first layer of pistons as well, instead of just including the layer of circuitry that you need you come out with a 2x2x4 two by two by instead of 2x1x4 by by and 2x2x4 two by two by is 16 blocks in volume as opposed to 8 so it's you know it's it's pretty small no matter which way you count it and it's also expandable as far as you want and it's pretty cool so that's about it for that design let me show you the better one so here's the second design and the extension Note no flickering pistons and the retraction. Still no flickering pistons. So this thing is two layers bigger than the other one, making it three by four by two, which is twenty-four blocks in volume, and then you've got the circuit. And I'm to my knowledge this is the smallest seamless uh expandable double piston extender from the ceiling, which doesn't use a torch burnout. Well actually that's a lie, it does use a torch burnout. If you see this torch here, there's a block on top of it and the dust on top of that block which means that's what causes it to flicker and that's how it works the secret has been revealed <sighs> this was a kind of a bit of a hmm will this work oh it did let's upload this that's that's the sort of video this is but it's it's just a bit crazy how it works i'm going to do my best to explain this to you though um yeah when you flick the lever this bottom line will turn on first but that will do nothing. I have no idea why I'm skinless at the moment. That won't do anything. But one tick later, this top one will turn on. And that will cause these top pistons to push down. And these pistons will get pus pushed into the blocks which are being powered. And it will all extend nicely. Now when it retracts, basically that happens. So nothing exciting there. But that's where this piston comes in. Now this piston, turn it on, it retracts, turn it off, it extends, uh, whatever is it, two and a half ticks later. So after those two and a half ticks, it gives this torch to just enough time to burn out twice. And that's all you need, because it needs to, uh, how can I demonstrate this? It needs to first pull those back. And then, one tick later, it needs to fire this line again, because that will bud it. Can I do it with my hand? There we go. It buds it like so, and then if you get it right, one tick later, if you take away the pulse, that will happen. So normally it's very hard timing to use this, but with the torch burn out, it actually turns out to be very, very simple indeed. And that's just basically what allowed me to do this. So the piston pulls the block onto the torch, two and a half ticks, gives it enough time to burn out to make this a very very controlled and circuit that uses a burnout so they do both use burnouts but one of them's controlled one of them's tiny the choice is yours but anyway as far as i'm concerned that is the end of the video my name's been mr uberduck thank you guys ever so much for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye